Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here and you've never watched any of my videos before. I thought we could just have a little bit of an updated catch up about things hair care and specifically Dyson Airwrap. Dyson Airwrap number one fan over here and have loved it for probably coming up to two or is it three years now? I'm losing track of time completely. Hopefully it'll help you whether you've got the older version or the newer version of the air wrap or if you're thinking about getting one perhaps this might be the persuasive video for you or in general if you're just looking for some hair care tips products and things for styling. It's been a while since I filmed a hair care video but there's lots on my channel if you want to go back and watch some others, refer back to some more tips and tricks. I really hope you enjoy, find it helpful so let's get into the video and I'll share all my tips and tricks and We'll give ourselves a bouncy blow dry. So I've literally just washed my hair, put a little bit of makeup on, and here to show you basically from scratch my blow dry, Dyson Airwrap blow dry routine. I've got my trusty basket which helps me transport my products. Um, and I thought we could start with a little section about products and prepping the hair. I put a kind of like chapter in in case you're not interested in this but you can skip through. I guess it's a little bit of like a hair care routine as well. Firstly, let's start with shampoo and conditioner. So I use this little duo from Hairburst. I've been using Hairburst for probably about two years now, maybe a little bit longer. I use the orange, which is specifically for dry and damaged hair. They have a variety of different ones. They have the orange one, the purple one, which I believe is for curly hair, the green one which I think is for oily hair and then still the original one which is technically suitable for all hair types so I always double shampoo and at the minute I've just been using this conditioner like quite often I will put like a hair mask on or something but I've been loving pre shampoo treatments so I've just been leaving this on for a few minutes in the shower might have a little shave have a wash whatever I'm doing and then rinse it off so that is literally the in shower hair care so to brush through my hair I usually use a wet brush or a tangle teaser I have both today this is my wet brush I really love it it gets out my tangles really easily but I won't brush through it until I put some product on because wet hair is like vulnerable hair it's like vulnerable position and most prone to breakage when it's wet so I try and put my products on first detangling products all that kind of jazz and it smooths out a bit helps just make the brushing process easier and not as like pulley where I'm going to pull out more of my hair. So what a really um, kind of cool analogy, I think it was um, Victoria that from In The Fro that said it and she said that a lot of people that get Dyson Airwrap, they will say I've spent all this money on a Dyson Airwrap, I don't want to then be shedding out another fortune on hair products. And she said that's like saying that you have bought an Arga cooker and you expect it to cook your food for you or that you have bought an electric car but you won't charge it. These things need a helping hand along the way to get the most out of your product. Irrespective of whether I was using the Dyson Airwrap, if I'm just drying it, if I'm keeping my hair straight, if I use some other hair tool which is very rare, if I use my heatless curler, I will always put products in my hair. So really I go in with products for different reasons. Firstly, the condition. Secondly, the kind of volume, I would say, um, and maybe volume slash hold, and then some specific products for like the hold of the hair. Because my hair is quite thick and really quite naturally straight, I do struggle sometimes to get a curl to last, um, even with curling setting products. So it's just been a bit of trial and error and I found some ones that I really like. One brand that's fantastic and I've raved about a lot is Colorwell. I think these might be my two top products. I also love the Dream Coat which is amazing if you have frizzy hair or if you're going to a place with a lot of humidity. This one is fantastic. This is the Dream Cocktail. I specifically have the carb infused one. It was This has literally lasted me years. I've had this for years. I've never actually repurchased because I haven't run out yet, but I'll 100% repurchase. Whether I'd get the carb infused one again, I'm not sure because they have a couple of variations. And this one is specifically for fine and thin hair, which I don't technically have, but it really helps with that added like volume and mass and body to your hair, which is exactly what you want when you're doing a Dyson blow dry. A couple of other ones that I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know one of them is suitable for coloured hair. So maybe I would repurchase that one in the future. So I'm gonna put a couple of pumps of this on. So for my hair length, I probably put two to three pumps on. Um, give the bottle a shake. Couple, I put three pumps on there. Rub it between my hands and then just disperse 
throughout my hair. Really good at kind of smoothing and taming the hair but also adds the volume, helps with the setting as well and also has heat defense in it. But all around a fantastic product. The other color one, one I won't use today but this is the extra large bombshell volume and I know this gets a lot of hype um, for giving that like mass of volume in your hair. So whilst they do help with a number of different things I do tend to go in with other things that are good to smooth out my hair and the condition so I have this one from Red Ken this is the extreme anti-snap like protein spray leave-in conditioner I love the milkshake products I've got this whipped cream one which literally smells like whipped cream like vanilla it literally comes out like squirty cream and also this one which is the milkshake incredible milk this has 12 benefits they're very similar benefits in both these products this one has the additional perk of uv protection so it's perfect like on holiday when you're going in the sun or if you're from a hot country living in the uk i'm not i don't need to worry about that too much i was literally thinking the wind sounds incredibly strong out there shake it up like you literally would a whipped cream can and then it comes out like whipped cream oh nearly, nearly dropped it then smells amazing and then i just kind of disperse this throughout all my hair this one i featured in a recent favorites video from jvm the blowout milk also love that one and if you're looking for a volume product that is a bit more affordable than this charles worthington volume bounce volume bounce mousse body booster mousse is great again it says it's for fine flat hair but you can probably use it on most hair types see so that one gives that like really strong hold and body imbalance to your hair so yeah disperse those products with my fingers and then i'll start like gently just brushing through my hair and it's much easier after i put those products through you definitely don't need all of those products but i would definitely recommend investing in some hair products some different ones for different reasons whatever's within your budget or you're willing to spend on hair care products so now my hair is prepped ready to go now is on it to the dyson air app so i actually got this little pouch case thing for christmas it's fantastic it holds all my dyson air app so i still have quite a lot of attachments i believe with the new one it's like one attachment that kind of rotates whereas the old one it still has all the attachments but the premise of my technique and all that jazz is still the same regardless of whether you have the old or new one this houses all my attachments i've got my smoothing attachments here my barrels my filter cleaner and the actual hair dryer and i've just found it's easier to kind of tuck it away in this bag it's much like neater and tidier so yeah first up i need my drying attachment and my actual air wrap i'm just going to roughly blow dry my hair get some volume going in it get some of those products working and get it till the point where it's about 85% dry I know it's kind of hard to tell what 85% dry is but I think it's more just like it's a tiny bit damp to touch but it's pretty much all dry and I always focus on drying the roots more than the ends the ends can dry more with the attachments the roots the attachments don't really touch that much so make sure your roots and all around like the crown of your hair and at the back and everything is nice and dry. That'd be my advice, so let's go with the drying. I can just about get my hair in I think on the screen it's definitely grown so much in the past like year or so I think I'm going to stick with the classic 30 millimeter barrels so these are the longer barrels that you get with the complete set so you get the 30s and the 40s these are the 40s I have the longer kit obviously I've got longer hair so glad I went for the longer one and then I also have the 20s which I've done another tutorial on it was a while ago but I did like a first impressions of these and to be fair, I reached for these a lot, like a lot. The curls last really well because they're tighter ringlets and I kind of do it when I just want to curl like the bottoms and I just want like a bit of a flick rather than an actual, you know, full on curly blowout. But today we'll stick with the 30mm barrels. If you have particularly frizzy hair or if you have any frizz in your hair, if you haven't tried this already, um, it might be worth taking one of the smoothing brushes and just 
running it through your hair and smoothing like the tops out the underneath bits out if they're like kind of closer to your hair or a bit more frizzy or in general just to get like a smoother start my hair isn't too frizzy so i find that generally speaking i don't need to do that i can just go straight in with barrels i still have the older ones so i've got to do the age-old technique of using the opposite one going the opposite way i do mine away from the face which i guess will still be um the same kind of thing no matter which way you have to twist it if you have a new one the arrow on this one is pointing that way i'll use it on this side of my face and this one points this way so i'll use it on this side can never decide now whether to section into two or three but for the benefit of today's video not being an hour long i will just separate into two i'll just separate the top layer of hair or top half and secure with a silk scrunchie these are from true neutral collection which is my business if you would like a silk scrunchie you could definitely section this out into another layer i've literally got enough hair at the bottom still but i'm just going to do it in two for the benefit of this video not being so long so attach the barrel i'm going to switch the device on i think i forgot to say earlier i use maximum heat maximum speed pretty much all the time unless if i'm really close to my root i might like reduce the speed a little bit so i take a section of hair and then turn on the barrel hold it near the bottom of my hair and it just kind of like sucks it on up it just does it itself it's kind of magic um so yeah just suck it up like that and then i do hold the hair here i kind of feel like everybody does this but i've seen so many different techniques so what i do is i hold the hair kind of halfway down or wherever just grab the hair so it's taut and then i will roll at the end um the piece of hair just a few times help solidify the curl and get lots of heat to it and make sure that every single strand is dry and then once i've done a few rolls i'll kind of move it up the hair again you don't need to keep it taut this time but just keep rolling it roll it all the way up to the top of the head hold it there for quite a few seconds maybe like 10 to 15 seconds and then here where you've got the cool shot button if you just push that up it'll blast out a cool shot of air which helps set the curls so after that 10 15 seconds is up i'll push the cool shot button up hold it again for another five ten seconds or so i don't like pounds it in my head i just go with what i feel is like right and then i'll turn off the air wrap altogether i've seen people that just like pull it out that stresses me out no i turn mine off and then i will unravel the curl obviously it's super bouncy right now they will 100 percent drop considerably so i just leave it be let it to just set do its thing move on to the next one yeah these will drop massively you can comb them out at the end but they will drop as you go along so don't be tentative to start pulling it out even if it looks crazy like a judge's wig at the minute so yeah moving on to the next bit follow the exact same thing just let it suck the hair up do the rolling motion at the end and that's why i get like that really defined bit at the end of this one you can kind of see it's less defined further up because i didn't do that same rolling motion so roll it a few times hold it at the top for a few seconds cool shot and release yay you can see they're almost like uniformed the technique is pretty uniformed which i like for these like more to achieve like more of like a hollywood curl the curls are a bit more symmetrical it seems to work well i've been using this technique for a couple of years so it's working for me so i'll just keep going probably going to get like four curls out of this first little bit you can take as big or as little sections as you want really um i would say mine are like medium i never really know how to describe it um, so yeah, I'll just keep kind of rolling, take the hair further up, hold it, cool shot, and release. Perfect. So I'm just going to repeat on the other side, I'll just repeat all this section and the other side, swapping the barrel, or if you've got the new one, obviously just switch it or whatever you do with it. So yeah, I'm just going to repeat that process all over my hair, we'll swap the barrel for the other side, and then I'll let the next section down. <laughs>
set down the top section and literally repeat. This top section always needs a brush though. I'll move the curls that have been done back and then separate the bit into the part and I have middle parting. You can kind of manipulate the barrels to get a bit more like smooth look. So I'll kind of let it suck the hair up, then roll it backwards. Just at the end, kind of maybe up until my ear. You can use the barrel just to kind of smooth out the top and get lots of volume at the root. You just take the barrel up there and it won't suck the hair up. You can use the barrel to smooth out the top bit of hair and also get lots of volume. And you can do this similarly on any piece of hair really that you want more volume or if you want more volume underneath the hair. <laughs> the hair blow dry. It does look a little bit like a judge's wig at the end but as you can see this side has already dropped so much more than this side and on freshly washed hair when my hair is feeling like a little bit softer and smoother it'll 100% drop quicker. I always say to manage your expectations with the Dyson Airwrap it's not like a curling tong, it's not supposed to have curls that last hours and hours and hours and hours. It's more for that like volume and bounce and a bit of curl in the end. I tend to always like brush them out. A wide tooth comb's good. I don't know where mine is at the minute, but this is kind of good because it's got like wide bristles. Um, so I just really like gently brush them out, especially on this side because they've already kind of dropped a bit. Still want to maintain the curl. You could just do it with your fingers if you wanted to separate them, but I do think using a brush or a comb gives more of like a pull together like Hollywood smoother curl so I just go real gentle with them yeah because otherwise you literally just end up pulling them right out and it's just been a massive waste of time so yeah if you you can kind of separate the curls a little bit and just play around with them with your fingers or you can have them more like together don't forget to smooth out like the back and things as well because we want our heads all good from the back too but yeah it's just left some really nice smooth beautiful bouncy curls in. As I say, it does give a really beautiful curly look. Probably lasts a good couple of hours on me, but then will kind of begin to drop. I'll still have a really nice bend in the end. It won't be as curly as this, that's just inevitable, but I would get that with any or most curling things. Other than my heatless curler, because that seems to just like solidify it into my hair overnight. I love the results of the Dyson Air Wrap. I would literally recommend it to anybody. It's absolutely fantastic. In my opinion, is worth the very expensive price tag in which it comes. I don't have any other hair dryer or really any other at the moment electronic tool that I use. I do actually have a Dyson Corral. I have rarely used that at all. Thing gives my hair this volume and just put togetherness than the Dyson Air Wrap. It really doesn't. Um, no like curling tong or anything like that. Just the volume it gives, the bounce. I just literally love it. It feels like I've been to the salon. So I probably blow dry my hair a couple of times a week, usually once during the week and once at the weekend and depending on when I'm going out. But I will use my heatless curler every other night. So sometimes I use my heatless curler from straight hair, but it works amazing to keep in like a bouncy blow dry. So tonight I will pop this in and then in the morning I'll wake up and I'll still have all the volume and I'll still have the curls all set in my hair and they'll last a good couple of days. I'll be popping my heatless curler in every single night. This one is from Truly Neutral Collection as well. I was using one of these scrunchies earlier, so it's kind of like a two in one thing. So you get the scrunchies and the heatless curler. It comes with a clipper. As well in a bag which I don't have with me right now. You get like the full set but great multi-purpose products. I thought it was worth mentioning because if you're looking for a way to lengthen your blow dries and in between washes see some like growth in the length. The One of the biggest reasons I've seen such a big kind of growth in, in my hair is not just the products but also the reduction of heat on my hair um, and with Dyson Air Up blow dry is not lasting as long it's really tempting to just like spray, spray your hair and do it again. I found this has kept my results in amazing as well. I thought it was worth mentioning because I put this in like every night particularly after I've done a blow dry even if I was going out now like on a night out or with for dinner or anything when I get back I'll pop this in just keeps any curls that are left in even if they're good or if they've dropped out a bit that day this will kind of re-energize them and I'll look 
put together for the next day when I wake up. I feel like everybody needs a heatless killer in their life, whether you've got a Dyson Airwrap or not. So I really hope you've enjoyed the bit of the Dyson catch up. Really changed my hair game and how I style my hair and would highly, highly recommend. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps other people see it and discover my channel. And I would be very, very grateful for that. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. See you soon.